What is going on Minecraft Java Edition players that play Minecraft Java Edition on their Windows PC or their Windows PC handheld? Today I'm going to share with you how to install mod packs and tinker with mod packs. So like we're going to have to do something with one of the mod packs so that it'll work properly and so on and so forth. If you want to check out my playlist about mod packs for Forge, then check out the playlist that I have presented to you in the description of the video. If you don't know where the description of the video is in 2025, it is behind the dot 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 more button and that is the description of the video. There's a whole playlist about Forge mods and mod packs and resource packs and a whole bunch of different stuff. And today we're going to be using mod packs with CurseForge because a majority of the good mod packs are on CurseForge. I don't find a lot of them on Modrinth to be that great. Now, that's just basically maybe my one-sided opinion, but that's all up to you. However, how do we find mod packs? So now I'm inside of my personal mod pack folder. I'm gonna click on the Minecraft icon on the top left-hand side. I'm gonna click on discover. Now, what I can do here is go to discover and I can actually search for mod packs right here by clicking on mod packs. As you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different buttons in here. And basically here are all the mod packs right here. These are all the mod packs that we could download and get ready to go. Um, like the cave horror project, that's already like a mod pack that's already ready to go for you to like have some fun with some horror. There's the RL craft, which is the one we're gonna to do today. Now, I highly recommend you not to just click the install button. I highly recommend you to click on the actual mod pack and make sure you take note of certain things here. As it says, Optifine now needs the Optifine G5 found here. Do not use E3 to Optifine anymore as it'll crash. These are like important tips for you to understand how to use these mod packs because some mod packs don't have everything you need. But if you haven't read all the way up to like the bottom of the, <laughs> the description of everything, like mostly the developers usually put the things right at the top as to what you need to get. As you can see here, we need to get Optifine and it actually gives us the website and everything for us to get Optifine, the latest version. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on that link and we're going to download that version of Optifine because it says we need to. Now, sometimes your web browser might say we blocked this because it's basically an unknown file. If it does say that, then just allow it to download because I've used Optifine for years and it hasn't given me any issues, okay? Now, wait for it to download and then go back into CurseForge and we're going to click on install. Now, the installation, depending on the size of the mod pack, can take some time sometimes. It just depends on the mod pack and the internet and all that kind of stuff. However, RLCraft, yeah, it's a pretty big mod pack and we're gonna have to wait for that to actually fully install. As you can see here, there's like 3,383 files, but if your device can handle it and your device is big enough, <laughs> has a lot of storage, then you should be good to go. And as you can see here, we have this mod downloaded. Now, if you didn't watch my last video about how to install and use CurseForge, then please go do so now because again, that's in my playlist about Forge mods because I have an entire playlist just strictly for Forge mods only. And I'm going to have an entire playlist for Fabric mods coming out as well very soon. It might already be out by the time you watch this video. Now, again, we can just close out of this web browser, wait for the mod pack to install and then we'll be on our way to the next step. Now that that's installed and ready to go, we can click on the three dots for this mod pack and you can actually open up and see like the uh, view mod pack website and stuff like that. But basically we're gonna go back here, click on this button right here and we're going to click on the actual mod pack again so that we can see all of the other files and folders and stuff like that. I know it wasn't showing there. I was hoping it was, but it doesn't. Now we're gonna click on open folder and this will allow us to change things inside of our mod pack. So yes, you can add and remove and basically change other things in your mod pack. So as long as it's compatible, I'm gonna tell you that. Now, because we needed Optifine, we're gonna go into the mods folder. We're gonna click on the plus icon on our web or our file browser, go to our downloads and we're going to grab Optifine. Click on copy, go to the mods folder and paste it in there. Now there is a whole bunch of mods in this mod pack. It's a big mod pack and I'm hoping it does play on this device pretty well. This device should be able to handle it. But what we're gonna do is test that theory out right now. We're going to just 
jump in and play it. Now, what if you wanted to use controllable with it? Well, you can definitely do so, and I'm gonna show you how to do that after we click the play button and it loads because I wanna make sure I can set this up first and then we will add controllable because of course you're gonna wanna play with a controller. And I don't know if controllable goes all the way down to 1.12, but we will see if there's another controller mod, which there should be another controller mod, hopefully that we can use with Arlcraft. Now that we have it installed and ready to go, as it did take some time to load there, we can click on options, go to our video settings, and this is our basically Optifine settings. We can change things like our dynamic lights to turn it to fast or fancy, our graphics, we can set it to fast or fancy, we can change our frame rate to unlimited if we want to, maybe check out, see how you know our frame weight rate will handle. Smooth lighting levels, we can change all that kind of stuff as well. We can turn our smooth lighting to like minimum if you want to, if your device can't handle it. Here's our shaders button. So this is our shaders. If you wanna add shaders, details, we can change our clouds to fast if you want to. Like I use fast clouds usually on the most part and obviously shaders override this, but I have a video coming out for that as well. You can change other things in here like your rain and fog and stars and all that kind of stuff but when it's set to default it's going to default to whatever your graphics settings are set to um, your other performance settings and stuff like that in here you can show your fps if you want to see your fps on screen uh, you can see your lego meter on screen show gl errors if you want to turn that off which i find is kind of annoying then you can but if you want to see all that kind of stuff you can turn it on uh, performance is basically if you want to smooth out your fps you can turn that on your fast render they say not to turn that on with rl craft but some devices can use that with other um like other mod packs and stuff but don't even worry about touching a lot of this stuff honestly uh, unless you really really know what you're doing you can turn down your particles if you want to you can turn off your particles you can turn them all off if you want to basically when you cut down a tree for example you'll see like little particles that drop that's basically your particles or even your redstone or explosion particles there's just a whole bunch of different particles that'll you know show up now, decrease means that it's just going to lower the amount of graphics that are rendering when you are basically cutting down a tree or cutting into a block of stone or something so click done now obviously this is all up to you again what you set up in here my render distance i'm going to set it to 10 just to leave it to see what happens and i'm going to click on done and click on quick game now the reason why i clicked on quick game is because i want to go into this mod pack and and I want to add other stuff in here. So here is all the mods right here. Now, as you can see here, there is no like direct way to add more mods to this mod pack. And I want to add other mods. Like, let's say I want to add controllable. So I'm going to go to browse and I'm going to go to dis sorry, discover and go to mods. And I could basically just download these mods if I want to manually. So let's type in here controllable. Whoops, type it right. And you can click on controllable to see if it'll actually allow you to download it for that mod pack. Okay, so since we already have that mod pack uh, set up, we should be able to just install it because it's saying that we are going to not allow it. So see, as it says right here, it doesn't allow us to install it because it's incompatible with that actual mod uh, or that mod pack. So we'll have to find maybe like another mod for the controller. Let's see if there's other mods. Now that's where I like to basically you know, go into the settings and sort it. So I can go into filters. Let's go back to discover, go to mods, filters, and you can filter it based off of the game version. So let's go to 1.12.2, I think it was. Yeah, it was 1.12.2, which is the version that your mod pack is set to. And let's see if we can search out any controller mod. So mod controller, modular controller, open lights controller, and it doesn't seem like there's any controller mods for RL craft, unfortunately, but let's do some Google search Searching. And that's another thing you could do, right? Is just go uh, controller mod for one point, whoops, 1.12.2. Now it says controllable should work. So let's go to downloads and go to forge and it does. So that's weird that it doesn't allow us to download it for or install it for that version of the mod pack, but 
this is 1.2.2 so that is really strange that the actual um, uh, website or the actual mod itself doesn't allow us to do that maybe it's because i selected the wrong version so let's go back into discover let's go to mods filter this out by the game version and we'll go to 1.12.2 maybe it was selecting the wrong game version that's why and controller let's go controllable oh there it is okay maybe it was installing fine select the profile and there we go okay i thought there was a controllable mod for RL craft and that's why I wanted to do this one. Now we're going to go back into content and make sure that that actually installed. So let's go over here and see where it is. Controllable right there. And we do need that other mod, which was the framework mod as well. So we got to make sure I know that the, the UI of controllable is a little bit finicky and that's why I like Modrinth over <laughs> the actual UI, but install, click on select profile. And as you can see here, unless we actually go in here and change the actual actual um, the version so let's click back on this back arrow and we go to select filters and we select the actual game version to be 112.2 and we type in framework it looks like it doesn't want to allow us to install it so maybe maybe we don't need the framework mod to work for 1.12.2 i don't know all the mod packs honestly but basically it's just a matter of you messing around with things just to see if it works now we can keep an eye on these logs right here to see if it's going to run and let us run it so let's see and it might tell us if we need another mod as you can see there's like ads all on the right hand side of the screen that's just basically so that curse forge can make some money and here we go and yeah the controller mod just works as i can i'm using the controller on the actual device right now and it's working so that's pretty cool and we can go into like the mods folder and stuff like that too still so if we go to options and i maximize this window first i can actually change my controller settings in here and stuff if i want to now it's very uh very generic and straightforward um later bindings yeah you can see here you can change like different bindings and stuff like that as well now it does seem like it's a little bit you know very very um you probably want to still use your mouse or your touch screen uh, let's see it's bindings layout yeah, you can change your different layout and stuff, but it doesn't look like there's too much you can change in here because it is very, very raw and very new. Um, here's the other settings that we could change, like your mouse speed and stuff. I think that's this maybe. So let's let's try to change it. The cursor type, light, uh, dark, console. It's all, you know, different settings. I've never actually used this, so this is something new to me. Um, your rotation speed, I'm guessing, is how fast your character moves. I'm going to change the mouse speed here for a second and see. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, mouse speed is this, and that's great. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we have quick craft on as well. And yeah, you can change your bindings, so your buttons and all that kind of stuff if you want to. But let's jump into the actual game and actually see if RL Craft will load great on the device. I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way. And I'm basically just using the keyboard and mouse right now, or not the keyboard and mouse, the controller on the device, kind of as a wired controller because I'm plugged into a USB-C to HDMI adapter. All right, and I think we are in water. <laughs> so I don't know why this mod pack likes to drop you in water a lot, but here we go. We're in water and yeah, we are getting cold and freezing. Now this mod pack is a pretty demanding mod pack and I'm actually surprised it's running as decent as it is right now. However, yeah, I'm getting, eh, it's getting 60 FPS, which is pretty good, honestly. And I'm using the controller, so I don't have to use the actual mouse and keyboard or anything like that. And let's get to land. There we go. Now, I don't know much about this mod pack. I know a lot of people like it. Hey, there's a castle over there. We could have floated over there instead, but I don't really, I haven't really played it. Now, obviously the render distance isn't that, you know, far. Um, you can change other features and settings inside this mod pack as well. Like there's also, yeah, you can see how I can just pick up the dirt and stuff. So I use the controller to pick up the dirt as you can see here and now it just wants to put it back down again there we go there's the other one right there probably recommended not to have an item in your hand i've noticed that that mod pack is kind of hey turkey um kind of funny that way but yeah so this is it this is the mod pack guide and how to edit the mod pack and use a controller with this mod pack what did we learn today well we learned something new that this mod pack or the controllable mod only works for um, 1.12 and above, which is pretty cool. At least it works, but honestly, it's still awesome because a lot of people have wanted to try Control or uh, Curse Forge's RL Craft, and this is how you set it all up with Curse Forge. And yeah, you need requirements for certain things to work. Again, 
never really played cursed or this mod pack so it's all new to me too i've kind of tinkered with it but i've never really you know deep dive played into rl craft and maybe i will I know a lot of people ask me to do it, but I just haven't really found the time to do so. So watch out for that zombie. Goodbye. Why is there? Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, I just got killed. What the heck is going on here? There's are mermaids. Ow. I'm dying. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs>